What is going on, everybody? Welcome into the Friday edition of the Prize Picks Prop Show here at FTNFantasy.com. My name is Zach Graham, aka Kawisenberg DFS. Ready to jump into tonight's two game play in slate of NBA action. Uh, coming off a nice 3 0 uh, day on Wednesday of NBA picks. I know uh, the GOAT, Alex Blickle. Had a successful MOB morning yesterday on that short slate. And you can see now, as a team, since we unveiled that Pick'em tool about two months ago, uh, hitting at a 63.2% rate. So hoping to keep that going here today. And before we jump into the tool, just want to remind you of a few things. First, of course, if you have not yet signed up at Prize Picks, you can do so using that promo code FTN, and that will get you a 100% deposit match bonus up to $100. And of course, you can build similar, if not the exact same plays that we talk about on today's stream over at Underdog. So if you haven't signed up yet at Underdog Fantasy, scan the QR code on the screen right now, use that same promo code FTN, you get another 100% deposit match bonus up to $100 at Underdog Fantasy. And now you can download the Sleeper app. And use that same promo code, FTN. That's going to get you a deposit match bonus up to $500 over at Sleeper. So take advantage of these offers. You know, take advantage of the free money. Boost that bankroll up, bankroll up and then head over to FTN Fantasy where the rebrand happened earlier this week. Been a successful week in the DFS streets, the betting streets, and it's not going to stop tonight in the NBA Two more play-in games to go before the tournament starts tomorrow afternoon. Let's take a look at what we've got here on Friday night. Both of these games win or go home. The Thunder and the Celtics waiting in each conference for the winner of both of these games. And we're starting with the Eastern Conference tonight. Bulls and Heat. The Heat are one and a half point home favorites here currently without Jimmy Butler. 205 and a half implied total, of course, on that Bulls side. We're waiting on the status of Alex Caruso after he was injured in Wednesday night's game. And then the nightcap, Kings and Pelicans. Kings are one-point road favorites here now. No Zion Williamson for New Orleans, a 210-and-a-half implied total in that second game. And now let's start in that first game. Again, Heat and Bulls. And I want to look at Haywood Highsmith. Uh, with no Jimmy Butler here. And I'm going to slot in. We can go to the tool here. We can type in Highsmith, and we can see his points prep there, set at six and a half currently on prize picks. Um, Haywood Highsmith played 28 minutes with Jimmy Butler in, and of course fighting through that knee issue on Wednesday. Um, so with no Jimmy here tonight, we should expect another heavy dose of minutes here for Haywood Highsmith. Um, and I think especially for the DFS side of things, which, of course, NBA Live, uh, 5 p.m. Eastern tonight here at FTN Fantasy. Uh, the starting lineup is going to be very important for the DFS side of things, but also for the prop market. Um, and I'm looking to, to the history this season without Jimmy because we know plenty of sample size with no Jimmy Butler uh, in the lineup here for Miami. 16 games, Haywood Highsmith himself missed uh, a, a decent portion of the season. I believe that was personal issues, but he did play in 16 games that Jimmy Butler did not this season. And Haywood Highsmith in those 16 games averaged 8.9 points per game. Uh, and you can see the FTN data model, a fan of a more than selection here on Haywood Highsmith's points prop of six and a half. So we're going to lock that in as our first pick. And then I want to go to the nightcap. Again, Pels and Kings here. Uh, and unfortunately, I mean, just awful. The, the guys that we are going to be without here tonight in Jimmy and Zion, potentially Alex Caruso. Obviously, the Kings on the other side of this game already shorthanded with no Monk, no Red Velvet for the rest of the season due to that shoulder issue. But Zion's absence here is, I think, going to throw the Pelicans front court for a bit of a loop here. Um, we talked about on Tuesday's stream uh, our love for less than selection selections on Jonas Valanciunas's prop, specifically his PRA. Then he goes out and gets 14 minutes in that first half, ended up playing just over 20 before Willie Green finally pulled the plug on that. And then wouldn't you know it, 
Pelicans started to come back. Uh, didn't get the job done at the end of the day, but uh, I think with no Zion here and Demodis Sabonis on the other side, it's not like we're going to see no Larry Nance all of a sudden, but I think the minutes projection on Jonas Valanciunas should come up to a point where we have a lot of interest here, but uh, we'll talk about JV in a minute. Again, I think Larry Nance uh, is good for a less than selection here. You can see one of the top options in the prize picks tool here at FTM Fantasy at the moment is a less than selection on Larry Nance's rebounds prop, which is set at six and a half. The FTN data model has him a hair under four and a half rebounds here tonight. Uh, so you've obviously got some buffer, some wiggle room there with a line set at six and a half. So I'm going to lock in that less than selection of Larry Nance, uh, less than six and a half rebounds. And then I do want to go to the fantasy score props. And again, if you've been tuning into the prop show here over the last month or so, you know, the fantasy score props is kind of my wheelhouse and we don't quite yet have that integrated, the fantasy score props into the prize picks tool here. That is coming soon. Uh, but I do want to discuss a, a couple here as we're getting news on the fly. De'Anthony Melton ruled out for game one tomorrow. So definitely looking forward to the first round uh, starting on Saturday. But again, getting to the fantasy score board here at Prize Picks. We talked about Larry Nance. I mentioned I have some love for JV tonight. I think Jonas Valanciunas currently set at 26 and a half fantasy score. I like a more than selection there. Um, 12 games for Valanciunas this season with no Zion. He went more than 26 and a half prize picks fantasy score points in nine of those 12. Uh, so uh, again, from a minutes perspective, we're looking at the FTN data model. There's a slight more than edge here. And then again, looking at the history this season, with Jonas Valanciunas in a spot like this, um, looking like a strong more than selection. So I also think if we had the fantasy score props integrated into this tool, that we would be getting some good correlation bonus in the tool by pairing JV more than 26 and a half fantasy points with that Larry Nance Jr. less than six and a half rebounds. So just one more pick here today. We'll get four in here on Friday. Um, and let's jump back to that first matchup. We talked about Alex Caruso getting injured the other night. I see Damian in the chat. Thanks for tuning in, Damian. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, if there's any props you want to discuss here, don't hesitate to fire them in the chat while we're live. Uh, that, that is why I'm here. I, if you need a second pair of eyes, you want to talk through some, some, some ideas that you got, um, fire them here while we're live. Because when we, when we stop the stream, the way to reach me is in that Pick'em Games channel of the FTN Fantasy Discord. So, uh, and again, you're also going to have Alex Blickel and Chris Meany and Kenneth Lee and a number of other experts dropping their favorite plays of the day from the Prop Pick'em site. So again, just touting that Pick'em Games channel a little bit more, you can see the 63.2% over the last couple months. Again, get back to this final pick here after that shameless self-promotion here. Uh, Alex Caruso, again, he may be able to give it a go tonight. There was some positive news in that direction on Thursday afternoon. Um, but I think it's clear that Alex Caruso is not going to be 100% here. So sticking with that fantasy score props board, I'm looking at Io DeSumo and his fantasy score prop of 27 and a half. Um, you know, Io already got 40 minutes in that game on Wednesday and I have a hard time seeing him come in too far below that. And I think there's upside, especially if Caruso is limited in a severe fashion here, and maybe even just misses the game. You could see low to mid forties from a guy like Ayo Dasumu, of course, Kobe White, DeMar DeRozan, uh, and the like, those guys are all in for big minutes, but Dasumu with the fantasy score prop of 27 and a half FTN data model has him right around 29 and a half on our morning run. Uh, so again, I like a more than selection here on Io DeSumo, and if anything, it's a minutes play, you know, 40 plus minutes here potentially for DeSumo. I like the more than selection on that 27 and a half. So again, uh, join that FTN Pick'em Games channel when you sign up here at FTN Fantasy. That is where all of the discussion is going on throughout the rest of the day leading up to lock of these slates. You're going to get content on the MLB side in that channel. You're going to get picks on the NHL side in that channel as well. Uh, and, and hopefully continuing to see more of those green screens roll in 
as we have seen over the last two months or so since we rolled out the prize picks prop tool. So again, the four picks here today on Friday's stream, we are going more than six and a half points on Haywood Highsmith. We are going less than six and a half rebounds on Larry Nance Jr. Going to pair that with a more than selection on Jonas Valanciunas, 26 and a half fantasy score. And then we round out our four picks today with a more than selection on Io DeSumo, 27 and a half fantasy score. Uh, see a couple comments in here. Let's see what we got. Uh, we see the way Wayrealer family is here. And then Albert saying, what are your thoughts on De'Aaron Fox? More than six and a half assists and Harrison Barnes more than 13 and a half points. So I can, t we can take a look here in the tool and see what the FTN data model is saying about those two props here, Albert. Uh, looks like we lean to a more than selection on Harrison Barnes there. FTN data model, right around 15 points for Harrison Barnes. You talk about guys that are going to play huge minutes tonight. Harrison Barnes certainly fits uh, fits that model. And then if you're going to take the Fox assist prop, uh, looks like that was actually bumped up to six and a half in the last hour or so because the prize picks prop tool, which I opened right before we went live, uh, still has them listed as, as six. So um, it's actually a slight less than lean here. 6.38 assists is, is what the FTN data model is spitting out right now for De'Aaron Fox. So that is a line that I'm probably going to stay away from at the moment. Uh, but again, if you if I have to make a decision on De'Aaron Fox, six and a half assists, nerf gun to my head, I would lean to the slight uh, less than selection there following what the data model is spitting out. So appreciate Damien, Albert. Uh, I see Carlito in here saying Fox rebounds uh, for a less than selection maybe. Um, that line is set at five. Carlito, uh, FTN data model saying right around five and a half rebounds for Fox tonight. So again, that is a prop I'm probably going to stay away from at the moment, um, unless we see some of those numbers shift dramatically. But if you were going to take it, the model does lean to a slight more than selection there. So appreciate you guys tuning in, whether you caught it live or on the replay later today. Uh, and again, you can join me and all the other experts here at FTNFantasy.com in the Pick'em Games channel of our discord that's where the majority of the action is going to be happening every day but we're back again tomorrow on saturday for another edition of the prize picks prop show here at ftnfantasy.com we'll see you guys then and good luck tonight everybody